At 18 years old, Willow Grove, Pennsylvania high school seniors Rick Hayward and Karen Lynch went out on a date. Rick took her out for ice cream and then bowling. Karen thought they had real chemistry, something that doesn't happen too often. But you know how it is when you fall for someone. You can't wait to see them or hear from them. You eagerly wait for them to get in touch. Well, Karen waited and waited for Rick to reach out to her. Hello, wonderful people. I'm Scott Leffler for Wonderbot. And here is, after 33 years, she finally discovered the truth of why he never called. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. As is so often the case with dating, it's never straightforward. So Karen waited. However, it turned out that she would be waiting a long time. Rick's call never came. Karen was confused and a little disappointed. Maybe he just didn't feel the same way about her. Back then, the only forms of instant communication available was a landline telephone, so it was a lot easier to fly under the radar if you didn't want to see that person ever again. But why would he want to do that? What had changed? So young Karen Lynch found herself in a confusing and dispiriting situation, and no doubt wondered what she'd done to cause Hayward not to call her again. Days turned into months, and months turned into years and still there was never a second date. Decades later, the pair had both moved on with their lives. These years saw the pair marry other people and have children. Both lived extremely happy lives. But in 2010, in a strange twist of fate, both got divorced. It was only then that Karen finally discovered why one of her very first crushes hadn't asked her on a second date. After 33 years of silence, out of the blue, Karen received a friend request that would change her life forever. Thanks to the wonders of Facebook, the pair reconnected, and Karen was finally given her long-awaited and highly anticipated answer. After messaging each other on social media platform, Karen received an unexpected call from Rick, and it was then that he revealed why it had taken him 33 years to call. For Karen, this was her one and only opportunity to ask why the date in the 1970s didn't lead to a second date or even a phone call. You never know if this guy might disappear again. After the reconciliation, they both began to think about what could have happened all those years ago. It took a massive 33 years for the pair to finally meet again and for Rick to work up the courage to pick up the phone and call Karen. When I saw Karen on Facebook again, I started thinking about maybe what could have been, Hayward admitted, when being interviewed about the remarkable story on the Rachel Ray Show in February 2017. I finally got up the courage to ask her out on a second date 33 years later. Yes. It turns out that Rick was a good man after all because, despite having a great first date, he admitted he suffered terribly from shyness, which meant he was always too nervous to pick up the phone and ask her out again, despite attempting to on numerous occasions. The pair began dating and Karen realized why Rick hadn't called her all those years ago. It wasn't that he didn't want to go on a second date, it was just that he lost his nerve every time he picked up the phone to call her. Rick said. I wanted to go out with her again, but I was very shy in high school. Every time I went to pick up the phone, I chickened out. Weeks went by. So much time had passed that Rick realized that he'd missed his chance. I finally said, I can't call her now. It's been far too long since that date and she's going to be mad at me for not calling her. So I gave up, he recalled. At the time, it seemed like their budding romance was just not meant to be. But 33 years later, after that all-important second date, love began to blossom. I knew I wanted to marry Karen, Rick admitted. This is when he decided to set up a dramatic proposal. I took Karen to the jewelry store to do some ring shopping. While Karen was trying on some jewelry, the shop assistant handed Rick a ring. Then what did he do? In yet another example of Hayward's sweet-natured persona, he got a shopping assistant to ask Karen, who was busy trying on some merchandise, to try on a ring. She says, here, why don't you take a look at this one and hands it to me? and I stuck it on Karen's finger and said, Will you marry me? As soon as Karen saw the ring, she knew her answer would be yes. Karen said, Rick is an incredible person. He's a gentleman. Best of all, he's my best friend. He just is everything that I was looking for and some of the things I didn't even know I was looking for. And as Rick explained, the feeling was mutual. Karen brought love back into my life and made me feel whole again. 
I don't think I really knew what your other half meant until now. But just when you thought the story couldn't get any better, media outlets caught wind of the story. Rick took Karen to New York for what she thought was some wedding dress shopping. But little did she know, Rick had yet another awesome surprise for his wife-to-be. Escorting his wife-to-be into a limo, the chivalrous gentleman handed Karen an iPad. On it was a ready-loaded video from none other than American talk show host Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray made an announcement that Karen was not ready for. After expressing her happiness for the couple, Ray offered to host the wedding on her very own show the next day. For anyone who's planned a wedding, you're well aware that it's a monumental endeavor. Could you just imagine having to do all that in just 24 hours? Clearly, there was a lot for Karen and Rick to think about – marriage licenses, finding the perfect dress, and other activities that usually take months to plan. For Karen, the surprises kept coming. Her mom and her soon-to-be mother-in-law were at Kleinfeld for the dress fitting. But this wasn't all. Karen couldn't possibly get married without her best friend by her side. But to her surprise, Dory Purdy was already at Kleinfeld. It turns out a lot of people had known about the surprise wedding, but had managed to keep it a secret from Karen. Thanks to Rachel Ray, most of the grunt work had already been taken care of. With family and close friends surrounding them, the couple had their ceremony in the television studio of The Rachel Ray Show. Emotional vows were exchanged in front of an audience on the most romantic day of the year, Valentine's Day. Amazingly, this wasn't the end of the surprises for Karen. The show had organized a luxury honeymoon for the newlyweds. As soon as the ceremony ended, the pair jetted off to Mexico, where they were greeted by a private beach, a golf course, and 24-hour room service. For these two lovebirds, it appeared that the universe conspired with them so they could achieve love in its purest form. And as Lynch tearfully admitted to Rachel on the show, she didn't, in her wildest dreams, imagine she'd find love quite as good as the one she had with Ray. We didn't expect to find this at 50, especially when it was somebody that you knew all your life.